From family drama to conspiracy theories and new influencer music, there's been a lot floating around online this week that we have to talk about as there seems to be an update to the whole Cyrus family drama between Noah and her mom Tish, to Avril Lavigne addressing the conspiracy theories surrounding her not actually being the original Avril, to Jeffree Star seemingly teasing the fact that he's coming out with some new music. Certainly interesting. Especially since a lot of people thought that Jeffrey was just sticking to his farmer era or at least his TikTok live era, but it seems he wants to switch things up and maybe revisit that music past of his. Cause once upon a time, Jeffrey was making music. There's definitely a lot for us to talk about today. But before we get into anything, I wanna let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Rocket Money. I recently found out that I was being charged every month for a subscription I forgot to cancel a free trial for, and with Rocket Money, I was able to cancel it super easily. Rocket Money is the personal finance app that helps you cancel subscriptions, lowers bills, and manage your money better. Like I said, one of the ways I'm using Rocket Money is to cancel unwanted subscriptions as they safely and securely identify reoccurring charges and cancel unwanted subscriptions for you. I'm also using Rocket Money to lower my bills and set budgets for myself. Simply by uploading a photo of your bill and tapping a few buttons, Rocket Money will negotiate your bills for you from internet service to cable and phone bills. They will also analyze your spending habits to create a custom budget that works for your lifestyle automatically monitoring your spending by category and get notifications when you've exceeded your limits. Rocket Money has helped save its customers up to $740 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. To save more and spend less, join the over 5 million members using Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash spillsesh or click the link in the description to get started for free. You can also unlock even more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash spillsesh to get started for free. Thank you to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video and let's get into the news. To get into what's been going on this week, let's dive into this conspiracy theory drama surrounding Avril Lavigne. Basically, there has been this theory that the original Avril disappeared in 2003 and was replaced by a lookalike named Melissa. And this has been a theory that's gone around for years now. The theory claimed that Avril struggled with fame in the beginning of her career and would occasionally at times use a body double named Melissa. And she would use her for certain events and appearances. The theory claims that the original Avril actually passed away and her record label forced Melissa to step in and be Avril permanently. People think that her physical appearance and sense of style is proof that real Avril disappeared and they also felt like there were little messages in her song hinting that the original Avril was gone. They also felt like she had strayed away from her rock roots when she put out the song Hello Kitty saying that it was just a sign that it was not her. Though people have argued that she probably just grew up and switched up her style like most artists do. Others have argued that this was just a reason to believe that the real Avril was gone and Melissa was here. Oddly, there was a photo of Avril where she apparently had the name Melissa written on her hand for a promotional photo shoot, but photo has been mostly scrubbed from the internet, but it is something that people have brought up and think is very creepy and very weird. But as a result of all of this, some have chosen to believe the theory, even though here and there Avril has come out to address it and deny it, but she was doubling down on call her her daddy this week when Alex brought up the whole theory. You know, there's a conspiracy theory mm -hmm. that I'm not me. There is a... <laughs> cool. Honestly, it's not that bad. It could be worse, right? Like, I feel like I got a good one. But is it... Okay. I don't think it's, like, negative or anything, like, creepy. So it's like... We're it's good. a... We're Avril, good. Avril, this conspiracy theory about you is a little creepy. Come on. Oh. No. Yeah, I don't know. It could be worse. It could? Yeah. It yeah. Could. No, you could be getting like I online. Mean, obviously, no. I am me. It's so dumb. <laughs> Alex was really trying to get some serious answers out of her when it came to this conspiracy theory, but honestly, I think she was just taking this very lighthearted and not too serious, and it kind of was feeding into the theories even more a little bit, but she seemed to just be having fun with the question, and Alex certainly wanted her answers, that's for sure. Does it annoy you that there will be people that comment on this episode being like, that's Melissa. That's not Avril. When did it start? My second album? Like, I don't I, even know. I like, think I think, like, from the beginning-ish, second album. I don't know. And why do you think people think that? I think that they've done that with other artists. I'm not the only one. 
I think like other people have that. I feel like yours is like really prominent. Oh, I mean, I feel like you might believe that. <laughs> I'm honestly the one that started the conspiracy theory. So you don't care. <laughs> We're over it. <laughs> okay. So your name is Avril Lavigne. <laughs> yeah. But I, mean, I knew you have believed it. <laughs> So after hearing this interview, some people were just skeptical or starting to believe the theories for the first time. It turned into a whole mess, but some of the comments that people left were, sounds like something Melissa would say. Why did her reaction make me think the theory is actually real? That's a laugh of the guilty. I'm so convinced that's Melissa. Despite what people have had to say, she's seemingly making it clear that she doesn't care about the theories that are out there and it's just something that she's going to laugh off. Now, something that people don't know how to react to is the fact that Jeffree Star recently told his followers that he's going to be putting out new music. He went live the other day on TikTok where he was recording this new music. Thank you so much. You guys are iconic. I am having the time of my life. I know I haven't been live in three days. She's been a little busy working. So we'll be on mute for a minute. We're out tracking vocals. Everyone double tap the screen and say howdy if you want. I miss you. I love you. How are ya? He ended up going on mute and recording what he needed, but told fans that this was all going to be for a music anniversary of his and later ended up teasing that what he was recording, there was going to be someone featured on it, which apparently people are going to be like freaking out over. <laughs> oh my God, when they hear the bitch that's going to collab with Miss Motherfucking Lynn. Oh. From TikTok live streamer to farmer, and now he's going back to music. There's been a million phases people have seen Jeffrey through over the years, especially recently. So this will be interesting. I mean, is he going to make a music video, throw it on YouTube? He hasn't posted on there in six months. So I wonder if this is going to be his little comeback plan or what the deal is. But that is what is going on in Jeffrey's bubble right now. Now, as for what's going on in the Cyrus family, for the last couple of months, they've been a big topic of discussion as it seemed there was clear division in the family following Tish and Billy Ray's divorce. Noah and Brayson seem to side with their dad, while Trace, Brandy, and Miley seem to side with their mom, attending her wedding to her new husband, Dominic Purcell, while Brayson and Noah were with their dad at the time. Noah is also often pictured with her dad and his wife, Fire Rose, while Miley reportedly unfollowed her dad and he unfollowed her last year. Noah, on the other hand, was not following her mom, Tish. So this just led people to believe that there was clear division and division in the siblings in the sides they were taking. And earlier this year, reports came out that some of the division between Noah and Tish might have been because of the fact that Tish married Dominic, who it was reported that Noah had been with him prior to her mom being with him. Sources claim that Tish wasn't aware of this relationship that they had and that Noah and Dominic weren't dating. They were just kind of like a friends with benefits of sorts. But the internet was so weirded out by the possibility of all of this and the fact that Noah's new stepdad might have been someone that she's been with romantically. Nobody in the family came out to deny the claims, but Noah did address it somewhat last month when someone commented on her Instagram saying, like that guy you and your mom both have sexy time with. And she said, hey, real grandma, I'm so sorry, but will you please just choke on the fattest just for a little bit? Great, thanks. And somehow all is well. It's kind of crazy because of all the reported drama, but after all of this, this past weekend, Noah posted her mom on Instagram wishing her a happy birthday and was posting old photos of them together. And people also noticed that she followed her mom on Instagram again. A true turn of events in this whole situation, truly. But people are hoping this is all a good sign of the family slowly coming back together. Though their parents might not be, people had hoped that at the very least the siblings could and this might just be a sign that if Noah is sending a message and following her mom again, the siblings might have come together. Tish responded to a repost of Noah's story on Twitter writing, love this pic so much. So that seems to be the update with the Cyrus family and one that the fans are actually happy to see despite the weird situation of them possibly having been with the same man. But that's what's going on on the internet this week. I want to know what you guys think about everything from this Cyrus family situation to Jeffrey putting out new music to Avril addressing the conspiracy theories. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Yeah.